Since yesterday, an additional 77 cases of COVID have been confirmed. Uh, that represents 1% of those newly tested yesterday and takes the total number now to 19,534. Um, this is the highest number of new cases in almost three months, which underlines the need for continued caution. A total of 249 patients are currently in hospital with confirmed COVID, which is an increase of one since yesterday. And two people are in intensive care, uh, which is uh, the same as yesterday. Uh, let me turn now to the review of lockdown restrictions. Um, I am not able to indicate today a move from phase three of our route map out of lockdown to phase four. We will remain for now in phase three, and I must give notice today that this may well be the case beyond the next review point two. On balance, taking account of the different harms that COVID and the restrictions imposed to tackle it are inflicting on the country, we have decided that the reopenings pencilled in for the 24th of August can proceed. I must stress, though, that such reopening should only happen when the appropriate guidance covering that activity or setting has been implemented. We will also monitor the impact carefully and, as with everything else, we will not hesitate to reimpose restrictions should that prove necessary. Let me now turn to the reopening of gyms, swimming pools and indoor sports courts. Three weeks ago, I indicated they could reopen from 14 September, but I also said then that we would consider if that date could safely be brought forward, especially given the wider physical and mental health benefits of access to these facilities. Having done so, I am now able to confirm that these facilities can reopen subject to guidance being in place from the 31st of August. For indoor sports courts, which includes dance studios and gymnastics, it is worth stressing that for people aged 12 and over, the reopening on this date applies to non-contact activity only.